Good day and Merry Christmas, everyone. And here is ASEAN News. WHO will go into China next year to investigate the origin of the coronavirus disease. World Health Organization official says an international team led by the United Nations Agency will be going to China in the first week of January to investigate the origins of the coronavirus pandemic. The team will visit uh, Wuhan, that's, that's the purpose of the mission. Uh, clearly we will have to, the team will pass through and by Beijing as is uh, the necessary uh, part of uh, any mission that's considered to be a joint approach um, and uh, we will show uh, good courtesy to our colleagues in, in China in, in, in doing that. But the purpose of the mission is to go to the uh, original um, <clears throat> uh, point at which human cases were detected and uh, that we fully ex expect to do that. Uh. Mike Ryan, WHO's top emergency experts, says international experts will go to the central Chinese city of Wuhan, where the first cases of COVID-19 were detected last December. WHO officials also says that three quarters of cases were occurring in the Americas and thanked Canada for committing to donate vaccine doses to other countries. Over three quarters of the cases you know, we're seeing globally now are, are occurring in, in the Americas. It's, uh, it's a very, very high uh, and intense period uh, there. Um, and it really does come back to being able to implement all of the measures that are needed. Maria van Kerkhove, WHO technical lead on the COVID-19 says, the agency was in touch with South African researchers who identified a new variant of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Uh, we're in touch with uh, researchers and scientists from South Africa who have identified some virus uh, variants. Um, what they're doing right now, uh, the variants um, have mutations in them, and as you know, uh, this is a virus that mutates. All viruses mutate, all viruses change over time, and these mutations are expected. But having the ability to sequence will allow them to actually look at those changes. World Health Organization Director General say thanks to Prime Minister of Canada who distributed COVID-19 vaccine doses and more than hundreds of countries participating in the economy in COVAX. I would like to thank Canada and Prime Minister Trudeau for committing to share surplus doses of COVID-19 vaccines. These unprecedented agreements mean that all 190 countries and economies participating in COVAX will be able to access vaccines to protect vulnerable groups in their populations during the first half of next year. Thailand's Prime Minister blames illegal migration for increasing coronavirus cases. Thailand Prime Minister Prayu Chan Ocha blames a spike in coronavirus cases on illegal migration after the country's biggest outbreak yet saw more than 1,000 infections, mostly amongst workers from Myanmar at the seafood market near the capital. Prayut announces new health regulations ahead of New Year celebrations and attribute the last outbreak in Samut Sakong province to network smuggling people in Thailand, which has so far had among the world's lowest coronavirus caseloads. With regard to those networks that bring illegal immigrations into the country, they must be prosecuted without any leniency whatsoever, regardless of whether they may be people with official positions or otherwise. This latest flare-up of infections in Samut Sakong is primarily due to such illegal immigrations. Prayut says he will meet with his COVID-19 task force and discuss additional regulations that may be appropriate for the evolving situation without elaborating. Thailand records 4,300 cases and just 60 deaths. Authorities suspect some workers entered the country illegally as infections soared in neighboring Myanmar. Health officials reported 427 new coronavirus infections and urged about 1,000 people from a quarter of the country's province who visited the seafood center this month to report to authorities. Some 397 cases were migrants, mostly from Myanmar. More than 1,100 cases have been traced back to the Nile Shutter Center, a commercial area where scores of vendors typically deal in shrimps and other seafood for distribution nationwide. The Thailand government planned to test over 10,000 people after coronavirus cases increases. Thailand plans to test more than 10,000 people after a record daily surge in COVID-19 cases to over 500. 
most are among migrant workers linked to a shrimp market near the capital. A spokesman for Silent COVID-19 Task Force at the news conference says authorities aim to conduct 10,300 tests in the southwest province of Samut Sakong, where the outbreak appears in nearby provinces such as Samut Songkram, Nakong Patom, and Tawesing, Wisanu Yoting. Talent confirms 576 new infections, including 516 migrant worker cases announced locally the day before. The new cases include 19 locally transmitted cases in Bangkok and in Samut Sakon province, where the 516 infections also find. There are also 41 imported cases. Most of the migrant workers in Samut Sakon are from Myanmar, which suffer a far worse outbreak than Thailand, where health authorities credit early action with limiting the spread of the virus. Other Southeast Asian countries, including Singapore and Malaysia, also report thousands of cases among migrant workers. The surge in cases in Thailand comes just as it is seeking to revive a tourist industry devastated by the pandemic. Its restrictions allow more foreign tourists to return. South Korea bans larger gatherings on Christmas and New Year holidays to prevent the spread of COVID-19. South Korea's capital Seoul and surrounding areas bans gathering of more than four people over the Christmas and New Year holidays after the country records highest daily death toll from the coronavirus. Yeah, As a special measure, we will prohibit private meetings of five people and more in Seoul, Gyeonggi province and Incheon from December 23rd to January 3rd next year. We cannot overcome the current crisis without reducing cluster infections that are spreading through private gatherings with families, friends and colleagues. This is the last chance to break the spread of COVID-19. The national government resists calls to impose a strict national lockdown, but the governments of Seoul, Gyeonggi province and Incheon city order unprecedented restrictions on gatherings on ward to January 3rd. The ban on gatherings applies to all indoor and outdoor functions except funerals and weddings. Currently, the ban gatherings of more than nine people. Combined, the two cities and the province account for about half of the South Korea's 51 million residents. The Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency says there are 24 additional deaths, bringing the country's total to 698, a further 926 coronavirus cases, down from a record height, 1,097 the day before. Singapore gets first Pfizer vaccine to minimize COVID-19 spread. Singapore receives first batch of Pfizer-BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine, according to its flag carrier, ahead of a rollout in the city-state that health officials have said could be as soon as two, three weeks away. Singapore Airlines, which carried the vaccines on board, on one of its freighters from Belgium, did not specify the size of the batch. Singapore is the first Asian country to receive the Pfizer-BioNTech shots after it had approved the company's vaccine. Prime Minister Lee Xiong Lun says he will among the early recipients of the vaccine in the nation 5.7 million people, which has one of the lowest coronavirus fatality rates globally. He says authorities will announce details of rollout in due course. The government plans to first administer the vaccine to healthcare workers and the elderly. Singapore has kept new local infections to almost zero each day in recent months and will further ease restrictions next week. In the Philippines, Catholics celebrate Christmas Day with health protocol. Filipino Catholics celebrated Christmas Day with face shields and masks and sitting over a meter away from each other, this year very different caused by the coronavirus pandemic. At the Manila Cathedral in the Philippines capital, many Catholics still prefer to attend morning mass physically. Worshippers were given assigned seats and contact tracing forms were required to be filled in upon entry. By the number of mass goers coming every day and especially during this Christmas Day, we can see that people really take seriously and know that their spiritual needs are essential needs that uh, we want to fulfill. So uh, masses will not be stopped, 
we will do everything, the health protocols, we will follow all the protocols of the government. The church, which usually accommodates 800 worshippers, only allow 80 at a time, following government protocols on mass gatherings. Dave de los Martires tells Reuters outside the church that keeping the faith is important during difficult times, wearing face masks printed with cartoons of Santa Claus. We need to be closer to the Lord, especially during this pandemic. Maybe this is our chance to get closer to Him. We need to strengthen our faith in Him, especially during these times. The Philippines government ordered citizens to stay at home as much as possible to limit social gatherings to a maximum of 10 people per household during holiday festivities. The Philippines has a total of over 465,000 coronavirus cases with over 9,000 deaths. Myanmar closes park and gardens to prevent the spread of COVID-19 on holiday time. Myanmar's populated commercial city Yangon had a minimal footfall after an announcement on the closure of all public parks and gardens over the New Year period to prevent mass spreading of the coronavirus from crowd countdown to events. <laughs> We are closing the lake bank, parks and gardens temporarily for the New Year event due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We have seen some people do some extreme celebrating at the New Year era, and we think the crowd will get bigger and overreact for celebration this year in order to release their stress from long-term restriction. We are so nervous of infections from the crowd because Myanmar is just about to control the infections in this period. The Yangon taxi driver says the new move came when complaints are made against the regional government for allowing people to gather at the park. The government cannot post tightened restrictions on Yangon because everybody comes here to do businesses in the commercial city. Of course, the authority can have control in Mandalay, but Yangon is different as it is populated and it is a business city. Regarding the restrictions over the New Year period, we need to be patient this year as we have many events ahead. We can control it. I strongly believe we will be all right to overcome the pandemic. State Councilor Aung San Suu Kyi warns the public not to be careless in daily life and follow the restrictions even though the government has made progress to attain vaccination in the next year. On Christmas Day, message from Catholic leader to the world to share vaccines and ask the victims of natural disaster to be strong. Pope Francis in his Christmas message says political and business leaders must not allow market forces and patents laws to take priority over making COVID-19 vaccines. Francis delivered his traditional Urbi et Orbi to the city and the world message virtually from a lectern inside the Vatican instead of from the central balcony of St. Peter's Basilica before tens of thousands. In questo momento storico, segnato dalla crisi ecologica, at this moment in history, marked by the ecological crisis and grave economic and social imbalances only worsened by the coronavirus pandemic, it is all the more important for us to acknowledge one another as brothers and sisters. Stressing that health is an international issue, he appears to criticize so-called vaccine nationalism, which UN officials fear will worsen the pandemic if poor nations receive the vaccine last. I beg everyone, heads of state, companies and international organizations to promote cooperation and not competition, to find a solution for everyone. Vaccines for all, especially for the most vulnerable and needy in all areas of the planet. The most vulnerable and needy must be first. Al primo posto, i più vulnerabili e bisognosi. He said in the Vatican's Hall of the Benedictions, which only about 50 Vatican staff wearing masks sitting along the long walls. Francis also appears to criticize people who are refuses to wear masks because it's violated their freedom, an attitude that has become widespread in some nations, such as the United States. Italians are under a nationwide lockdown for much of the Christmas and New Year holiday period. 
Francis says on Thursday, December 24 night at his Christmas Eve Mass, which started two hours early, so the few participants could get home in time before 10 p.m. curfew. He calls for peace and reconciliation in Syria, Yemen, Libya, Nagorno-Karabakh, South Sudan, Nigeria, Cameroon and Iraq, which is due to visit in early March. He also asks to comfort those suffering from humanitarian crisis or natural disasters in Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, the Philippines and Vietnam. Diver dress as Santa Claus celebrate Christmas Day in Aquarium in Bangkok. Visitors to an aquarium in Thailand receive a Christmas surprise when Santa Claus descends into the water carrying a sack full of food and surrounded by shoals of fish. She was very excited because she ran from uh, the beginning of the things. We haven't seen anything on the way. She has just been running all the way down here to see the diving Santa and Santi. So yes, very excited indeed. Normally she never stays here more than 30 seconds. So today it's already five minutes. Parents and children take pictures and videos of the visual treat at the Bangkok shopping mall aquarium when the diver Santa starts feeding the fish around her. My daughter loves fish. She loves looking at fish in photo books. So she got really excited to see the real thing here. Santa Claus actually Nicharangi Saryong, an employee of the Marine Life Center, who is glad to bring a little Christmas cheer to people through her job. It's Christmas time, so I dress as Santa for about three or four days. To feed the fish, the kids love the show so much. A group of elephants dresses in Santa costumes, handing face masks to the students. In Christmas Day, elephants wearing Santa hats and giant face masks handing out masks to primary school students. I love them because they're funny and they're, they're lovely. I think they're so cute. In Santa Claus Styles Robes arrives on the backs of Santa hat clad elephants in front of school in Ayutthaya province. They brought with them more than 500 face masks to promote COVID-19 awareness amid rising cases in Thailand. This year the difference is COVID-19. So the elephants cannot go into the school. We have to go out to see the elephants. So I'm a little bit excited and a little bit uh, sad because elephants cannot go into the school. In previous pre-COVID years, elephants and manhouts will walk around the school to hand out wrap presents ranging from candy to toys as part of pre-Christmas festivities. But this year they were not allowed in the school gates. Talent report 46 new coronavirus infections, of which 39 are locally transmitted cases, find in several different provinces. And that's for today. Wishing you and your loved ones a joyful festive season. Stay safe and see you again.